Hola, I'm Jack the Greek and welcome back for another one of my videos. Today we're going to cook some fish. And as you can see here in front of me, we have some beautiful, fresh Port Melbourne brim. Yes, it's a beautiful brim. It's about 1.3 kilos. And we've got to thank our friends, or John, from Obsaras at Preston Market. We're going to complement it with a bit of orange, lemon, eggplant, and of course some roasted red onions. And of course, we can't forget our olive oil, rigani, and of course, salt and pepper. Now, we've got our crossroad barbecue warming up. It's getting close to about 300 degrees. And what we're going to do today is use a top grill. We're going to use a top grill just up here like this, on this main grill. So, first thing is, we're going to prepare our fish. And here we have it, a beautiful 1.3 kilo brim. Beautiful, look at that. And you can see how fresh it is, if you look inside as well. You should only ever cook fresh fish. And of course, have a fishmonger that you, that you respect, and he respects you and you'll always get fresh fish. So the key thing for here is we need to make sure that we put enough salt and pepper, enough rigani, but of course a little bit of olive oil. Because, as I've, you've seen in other videos, we're going to put it on the top grill, and unless it's very hot and you've got a little bit of oil, you're going to lose the skin of your fish. So the first thing we'll do though is slice it, and you've seen me cut a few grooves, especially when it's a little bit thick. And on this one here, we'll probably give it three grooves. We're not going to cook it for longer than about probably 10 minutes on either side. Just like this. And then we cut the grooves on this side as well. We're going to make sure that we put plenty of salt and pepper and rigani as well. Some people like cutting off the, the, the back tail and also the gills just here, the fins. I do as well because I don't like it crisping up. So I'll cut them off just like this. There we have it. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Because they'll just burn off and they'll become a little bit bitter. And I don't want that. So there we go. We've done that. The next part is obviously our salt and our pepper. Put our pepper on, just like this. Turn it over. There we go. Now we are going to put rigani and we are going to put salt and pepper on the inside as well. So there we have it. There's our salt. Just showing you how much roughly I'm putting on there and our digoni. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. The digoni is important. There we go, look at that. Come in close and have a look. You don't want to put too much rigani or regano because then it becomes bitter. So put a little bit inside as well. Just like So the last thing to do now is just put the oil on, like I said. And the key here is to make sure the entire skin of the fish is covered with oil. Put a bit of extra, it doesn't matter. And then we'll turn it over as well. And the key here is to make sure that it all has the oil on it. So when you put it on the hot grill, it doesn't actually stick. And we'll put it on this side as well. It will smoke up a little bit at the start when you put it on, but that's okay. And then before we turn it over, at about a 10 minute mark, we'll paste it with a little bit more olive oil as well. Because you don't want to put it on the grill and then lose the skin. So, it gets a little bit messy here. But this is the key part here now. Very hot, it's sitting on about 300 degrees. We'll bring over our tray, just here. And I'll show you how we put it on to the grill. Give it one more coat, because that's the side I want to put on. Just like that. Make sure the head as well. All the skin is covered. And we just grab it like this. And listen. Unless you hear that, your grill is not hot enough. So we're going to put that on there, and we're going to close the hood, and we'll leave that for about 10 minutes. And you'll see the beautiful smelling smoke in the background, this beautiful fish. Same time, I'm now going to start preparing. It's been about two minutes now, but we're going to give that another eight minutes before we turn it around. Beautiful, there it is, and you can still hear it sizzling, and that's the key. Eventually, we're going to see it boiling between the skin and the meat. So. While we're there, we're going to prepare our next few ingredients. We said we're going to use eggplant, and what we're going to do is, is we're going to roast some eggplant. So all I'm going to do with the eggplant is just cut it up around about a centimetre, all the way, just like this. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt on it, as we all know, to let, get rid of some of the bitterness. But the key here will be to plate it up at the same time as we do with the fish. So we're going to time this. And I would say, probably it's going to take around four minutes for the eggplant to cook. 
So there we have it. We'll cut a couple more pieces as well, just there like that. That's probably enough. We're also going to have roasted red onions. So with these, we're just going to slice it straight like that. Grab a couple of other ones. You can see my oranges. You're going to say, what are we doing with them? Well, we're going to cook it with, we're going to have some oranges as well, plate it up. And you can see from the leaves, they've come straight from Jack the Greek's garden. And there we are. We've got some beautiful red onion as well. And with these ones, we'll probably cut them into four. Like that. So we're going to roast the onions and the eggplant. But we're going to do that once we've turned over the, a beautiful brim. Because in the last 10 minutes is where we want to start preparing this. And of course, we're going to complement it with some lemons. Straight from the garden as well, if you can. So there we have it. We've got our lemons. We'll slice them up just like this. And we'll get them ready as well. It's been around eight minutes now. You can see I've got all my vegetables ready. I've got my onions, I've got my eggplants, and of course I'll be slicing my, my oranges a little later. I've sliced my lemons, and if you're coming close, you will see how they are homegrown lemons because they have imperfections. But that's how it is when you have homegrown products. Now coming close, because it's time to turn over a beautiful fish. Look at it there. You can see inside how it's starting to boil up and cook, and you can see how it's all changed colour. Now, let's see if our trick and our little secret works. Hot grill, bit of oil, before you put it on. Let's have a look. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. You can see how it's not stuck at all onto the pan. So, what we'll do now is, is we'll put a bit of olive oil on top, and then we'll turn it over. I'm put too much on, because it had some earlier, but we're just going to put enough, just so it, it pastes on the actual skin, just like that. We don't want to start dripping it all over because it's all it's going to do is go to the bottom. And I want you to come in close now so you can see how I'm going to turn it over. So there we are, beautiful. Excellent, excellent. Now, some people might not even turn it over because it's cooking all the way around with the hood down. But we're going to turn it over today. So I really want to show you how we cook it. So grab it like this. Hold tight and just turn it like that. There we go. Beautiful. A bit of flame, but of course that will burn off. Beautiful brim on the second side now on the crossroad barbecue, just like that, for around about seven minutes. So now it's time to put in the rest of our vegetables. So we're going to put in our beautiful red onions and we'll put them in first, just like that. Put them over here on the side. There we go. And roast them up as well. And of course, we're not going to forget our eggplant. Our eggplant is not going to take just as, take as long, but we'll take them out in, in about a minute. see now in front of you that I've got all my eggplant ready. I've put, taken that off the Crossroad barbecue. I've sliced my orange, got some maidano, and of course we have our lemons. Now we need to grab our fish. So we'll move that to the side for a minute because we need to reduce the distance between the barbecue. So let's have a look and see how it's going. Oh, bus, beautiful. There it is there. So we'll get the, the flat spatula, we'll go straight underneath like that, and we'll lift it there. There we go. Opas, beautiful. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. Cooked all the way through and ready to go. Now just over here, we do have our onions still going. So we're gonna leave them there, because that's gonna be one of the last things that we put on. Let's get so bring that in front of us, just like that, so we can start plating up. There we go. So what we're gonna do is start with our eggplant, our orange, and then just another eggplant like that. And we'll go all the way down. The orange, the citrus, the sweetness, adds beautiful flavor to the brim. And just again, on the front. There we go, look at that. Beautiful, there we have. And of course, we're not gonna forget our rigani, our maidano, that we're gonna put on top as well. And there we have it. Beautiful, just like that. There we have, beautiful. And then we've got our orange, we're gonna put that on there and we're gonna let that brown up as well. We have our beautiful lemons, just here. One, two, three, four, just like that. We have our beautiful red roasted onions. We'll put them on like that. Look at that. Beautiful. How could you not enjoy this meal on any Saturday afternoon? That one's a little bit burnt, so we won't use that one. We'll put that away. 
but there are other ones here that we can use. There we have it there, beautiful. Grab these ones and just put them around. There we go, just like that. And that's probably enough, we don't need any more. We need our made no, just through like that, just there. And of course, a little bit more olive oil, just on top of everything before we put our final touches. Over the eggplant, over the roasted onions, just put it on there and enjoy it. It's beautiful olive oil. We've got our rigani again, put a little bit more on that, just like that. There we go. And of course, stipsy, it's a beautiful lemony over the fish. There we go. And to add to the touch, we had our orange here. So we've sipped our lemony, Time to clean up a little bit before we put our last final touch on our beautiful meal for today. Let's put this stuff away and get ourselves ready. We don't need that. And there we are. Look at this. We can't forget our beautiful last touch, our roasted orange on the side just to complement this beautiful dish. There it is. And thanks again for watching Jack the Greek. Hoppas.